Hi, I'm Effie and this is What Effie Reads. Since my challenge to put out 30 videos in 30 days was inspired by Jade over at JD Ray Reads, I thought I would adapt one of the ideas that she used for her Vita. So today I am going to be using my TBR game to recommend books. So I think what I'm going to do is rather than say it is like a set amount of books, I'm going to open up Pokemon Sword and as I'm playing I will chat along and as I encounter Pokemon I will recommend books that fit the type as if I am playing my TBR game. Hopefully this will all make sense and I know this is going to be a little bit of a different video for my channel but I hope that you enjoy and stick around. So as I explained I'm going to be playing my Pokemon game and depending on what Pokemon I encounter I will recommend books so I have my phone next to me to look up these Pokemon because I am absolutely atrocious at knowing what type they are so the first one we've got is Gossifleur and Gossifleur is a grass type so a short book and I think for that I would recommend How to Be Autistic by Charlotte Amelia Poe. It is um, it's a non-fiction and it kind of is a bit like a collection of <coughs> essays just kind of dealing, um, like talking about Poe's mental health and their struggles to get to the point where they got a, an autism diagnosis. It was just generally a really, really good book. And now we've got Zigzag Goon. Um, I feel like if you just stumbled across this video, you're going to be really confused. I think I explained in my intro that I assign like a, a prompt to each Pokemon type and then I pick books based on that so a uh, Zigzagoon Z Zigzagoon yeah is a normal book which is just a book that is 300 to 500 pages long which feels like it would be a really easy prompt to fulfill but Actually, it's quite hard because I don't tend to know how long books are. So, probably. I'm just having a look on my story graph. Um, I'm going to say Triflers Need Not Apply by Ken Miller Bruce. It's not long out and it basically tells the story of... Bella Sorensen slash Belle Gunness who was a woman that lived at the turn of the 20th century and just ended up killing various men. It was a really interesting book and it nicely straddled the line between being a true crime novel and an historical fiction so I really highly recommend like if you're a fan of either of those to be honest especially because Bruce portrays um, Bella slash Belle in a really sympathetic way and it's just all around a really engaging um, ooh, head to wedge which has station um, all around a really engaging book. Should probably make sure I've got the Pokedex open. Right. 
so where am I off to? I think I'm did I just see something sparkle? Um yeah I think I'm off to try and get to the station. I'm not 100 percent sure where I am. I haven't got my bearings. This like a hundred percent looks like Manchester though. <laughs> Random I know. Is that a station? That is a station. Where am I off to? This is a very cool. I haven't actually had a explore. Did I just? Oh, apparently I just bought a drink. Oopsie daisies. It's all the little things. Where do I want to go? Well, Wild Wedgehurst. I probably should have gone to the wild area actually and then I could explore more of the uh, what was I going to say I could explore more of the Pokemon yeah I think I'll go to the wild area and see how I get on swing up being just ridiculously adorable right so let's see what Pokemon I can see Although I'm really interested to see if there will be rare Pokemon at Wedgehurst Station. I am making like very slow progress through this game, but you know. Enjoying myself. Oh, very strong looking on it. Perfect. Test out my Pokemon. So I'm doing this thing where Generally, I'm only keeping the Pokemon until they reach level 20, so I need to actually swap out my Lanoon. Um, but yeah, so I, I keep them until they're level 20 and then swap them out, because I want to like train up my whole team. I love how it says like a very strong looking, okay that's not very effective at all, like a very strong looking onyx but also I might have a level 26 Pokemon, I don't know. So onyx is a, a dual type rock and ground so I need a 500 page plus non-fiction hmm can't say I read a lot of non-fiction so this could be interesting uh, so as I say I've got my story graph up in front of me and I'm gonna go and have a look at what's in the non-fiction pie and if any of them are over 500 pages um, Interesting what is actually coming up as being non-fiction. Um, yeah, um, no, I, I literally don't have any non-fiction of that length. Well, I say that, I'm going to go with... So Storygraph says it's non-fiction, but... I don't know if it truly is, however it is over 500 pages, so it's probably a good shout. And it's The Inflatable Woman by Rachel Ball. It is kind of exploring this woman's journey after she discovers that she has breast cancer. And it's a really emotional read. But it's also, um, like, it's a good read. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, oh yeah, it's quite funny as well. Which I really, really appreciated. I feel like I'm spending a lot of time battling this Onyx. But I, I will try and find, like, more Pokemon. Is that the door? 
do I have? But I'm in the middle of a game so I can't go grab the post. Anyway, <laughs> this is me when playing games I just end up rambling. So apologies if you're not used to how much I ramble. Why can't I throw a pokeball? I didn't actually see. I'll try again because I missed why it was telling me I couldn't throw it. Oh, okay, it won't let his guard down. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think I've almost defeated it anyway. Almost. So close. I feel like my Pokemon are going to faint though. <laughs> Have I recommended three books so far? I think I've recommended three. Uh, let's see. Right, so Metal Claw is raked with Steel Claws. And it is a Steel type Pokemon, so what have we got? Interesting. It would appear that I like claw removes because we've got home claws, scratch, and now we're going to have metal claw. <laughs> That's so silly. And random. Uh, let's see what we can find next. Um, I should probably like run around in the grass because that's where all the Pokemon tend to hide. Let's see what we got. We have a wild vanilla, which I'm going to say is ice, and I think that's a pet pick, so that could be interesting. If it is, um, yes it is an ice type, so what I'm going to do is I will insert a clip here of my cat picking a book. I will pick out like three books that I really enjoyed and I'll let her pick. I've picked three really quite different books for this pick. So we've got Lawless and Tilly, The Secrets of the Dead by Malcolm Rose, Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds, illustrated by Chris Priestley, and this one is In the Eyes of Mr. Fury by Philip Ridley. So some ver like quite a variety of different books. And I'm really interested to see which one Nuna picks for this. Which one will she pick? Nobody knows. Well, she probably does. The book that Nuna picked was Lawless and Tilly, The Secrets of the Dead by Malcolm Rose. Um. I think notionally when I decided to do this, like using my TBR to recommend games, I was going to say I wanted to be playing for about 20 minutes, but We'll see, because obviously if my Pokemon all faint, then I'll probably call it a day then. But we'll we will we'll definitely see. I tell you this, like chatting along whilst playing is just a completely like, other set of skills and I have mad respect for anyone that does streaming of them playing because you're not only trying to talk along with the game you're trying to keep up with conversations it's just surprisingly challenging but then i suppose it's all about practice as well oh what have i bumped into a swinob right 
What is a swim hub? I feel like if B was here, then B would be able to tell me exactly what each of these Pokemon was. Just off the top of his head. Right, uh, Swinob is also an ice, but it's an ice ground. So again, I will insert a clip here. Um, and so ice is a pet pick and ground is non-fiction. So I will pick out, oh, can't use that Pokemon. I will pick out some non-fiction books and let Nuna pick between them. I picked two kind of irreverent um, Una O'Hagan. They are non-fiction but they're not like non-fiction to learn stuff if that makes sense. They're both kind of like post-it note story type things. And one of them's about love and one of them's about flat sharing. So we'll see what Nuna picks. So Nuna picked I Lick My Cheese by Una O'Hagan. Oh, ooh. this is interesting. Usually it tells you like how effective things are, but this is not telling me. Unless all of these moves are... Uh, well, either they don't affect the swing up, which makes sense, or... Maybe the stats change moves? I don't know, like, I don't tend to like stats change moves. I feel like as a very like beginner gamer when it comes to Pokemon, I don't see the, the benefit of stats change moves in that I don't get that immediate feedback that I need. So where are we? Ooh, what does Avalanche do? Avalanche is okay so is that a stats change move? I don't know. Hmm. I think I'm going to swap out Harden like maybe that's a bad choice but as I said, I'm not a big fan of stats change moves. I don't know if with more experience that will change. What was that behind me? Oh, it was a bunnelby. Okay, so. Bunnelby. Also I need to focus on fighting as well. Mm. Uh, and a Bunnelby is a normal type, so a book that is 300 to 500 pages long. Oh, that Bunnelby fainted very quickly. I'm pretty sure, actually that's a, that's a shout. Go on my story graph and just look up books that are that length. Uh, See what it's recommending. Oh, that's a good shout actually. Uh, Tangle of Spells by Michelle Harrison. Well, actually, to be honest, you probably want to read A Pinch of Magic first and then, uh, um, yeah, go for it. I've never done one of these battles, so I don't know what to expect. I also have no idea what Pokemon's gonna come out. So, the Pinch of, oh, Pie Dove. The Pinch of Magic series 
involves three sisters who have been oh what am I trying to say are the ter target of an ancient curse that means that they can't leave the island and then there's kind of time travel there's magic um just really great like sisterly bonds so it's just generally a lot of fun to read oh dear it's fun that this is my first um Oh, what's it called? Dynamax Battle? I don't know. Oh yeah, I need to recommend a book for um, this Pokemon. So Pydoff is a flying normal type. Now, a normal type is usually a mood read. However, recently I have been doing this thing where if a flying type comes up, I will state two books that I'm going to choose between so the first of them is I'm going to recommend is Madam by Phoebe Wynn um it's really difficult to fully do just justice to this book and I think a lot of the magic is what you don't know going into it so you get surprised um, but basically it's this woman who's recruited at an elite boarding school in Scotland and things don't feel quite right and it's very gothic in tone and just all around a great dark read and then ooh, ooh. I think let's go for another quite dark book and we'll go for Verity by Colleen Hoover and this book I can't, it's so bad this book has one of the best opening lines I have ever read and it's something along the lines of like um, I heard the man's skull crush or something like something that really pulls you in and goes what is going on here um so the sorry so the premise is that this author who has had minor success is recruited to try and finish out as a ghostwriter co-author this woman's highly successful series after this woman's had an accident and can no longer write the book herself and there is a kind of romance to it but it's all around just a really kind of dark and disturbing book um but also really enjoyable like it was it's the first and today only Colleen Hoover that I've read and it makes me want to read more from the author but also I know that it isn't the usual genre for this author right I'm kind of trying to run like avoid all the vanilla lights because I feel like, oh, I've got another vanilla light. I feel like it won't be too interesting if it's all cat picks. So again, um, I will insert a clip of my cat picking a book. For this one, I thought I would mix it up a little bit. So we have four different graphic novels. We have Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman, Speak by Laurie Halsey Anderson, 
with artwork by Emily Carroll. Snow Glass Apples by Neil Gaiman and Colleen Doran. And Cheshire Crossing by Andy Weir and Sarah Anderson. So let's see what Nuna picks. I'm going to guess that I've probably put Speak too close to me, so she probably won't go for that one. But I guess you never know with her. Can we just focus on the fact that Nuna is currently sat on snow glass apples? That is so adorable. I feel like there should be an honorary choice that she just sat on it. <laughs> okay, so Nuna chose Cheshire Crossing by Andy Weir and Sarah Anderson. Um, vanilla it was just ice, wasn't it? Oh! What? Did I? Did I defeat that Pokemon without even realising? Uh, okay. Yeah, vanilla it was just ice. So, I'm thinking if I get out of this, like, icy area. Because I know there is, like, different uh, weather. Ooh, what we got here? What we got here? It is, oh, it's a very angry looking bunny. Diggersby. Is this the evolution of that bunnelby? I don't know. But it is a normal ground type, which is a little bit easier. So it is a book that's 300 to 500 pages long, but also non-fiction. So let's see. Um, I think I'm going to go with a slightly odd choice, maybe. And I'm going to go with Wow, No Thank You by Samantha Irby. Now, I know that Samantha Irby's work is held in very high esteem. A lot of people like her work. Mommy, sorry, I've, I drank a Dr Pepper before starting to film. Um, a lot of people do like Irby's work, but I just didn't gel with her. I think largely because I'm not a big fan of essays type books but at the same time I did find some of the individual essays engaging and relatable. I think it was just as a whole the the book wasn't really for me. Ooh, what we got, what we got, what we got. I was like watch me like seeking out ice types even though I've said that. Through a bit of a pain. I don't know if Pyloswine is an ice type, but a horrible feeling is like ice and something else. Uh, avalanche? Don't know. Yeah, it's ice and ground. So, yeah, another <laughs> clip I'll have to insert of my cat picking out. Uh, non-fiction so so far I think we need two clips of just like picking out whatever and then two clips of her picking out non-fiction I think oh, challenging I realized that I don't actually have many physical non-fiction books that I've read so I probably need to put more non-fiction onto my TBRs, I don't know. So we've got two non-fiction that I haven't read yet but I'm very excited to read so we'll see which one Nuna will pick. We've got In Black and White by Alexandra Wilson, 
and we've got Cultish by Amanda Montel. So we're going to think. So Nuno picked In Black and White by Alexandra Wilson. Well, I'm hoping I can get some. What am I trying to say? I'm hoping that. I can find some Pokemon that aren't Ice type to kind of round out this because otherwise it's just going to be my cat recommending books based on my TBL game, which is a little bit different. It was not what I intended when I decided to film this video, but I suppose that's the joy of this TBL game is that it can go any which direction like as we've seen today I've just happened to end up with an awful lot of ice types oh no my Pokemon fainted I must be running out of Pokemon now that's not good uh, let's see Let's use the next Pokemon. I am down to two Pokemon. Okay. Right, let's see what Meowth can do. Meowth with the big beard. I haven't decided if I like the um, Galarian um, version. I'm sure there's a word but it escapes me of this Pokemon like it it's definitely different and I do appreciate Pokemon that are a little bit different oh no my Pokemon are not doing well today I might have to be really boring and oh no oh dear and just like encounter Pokemon and run from them I feel like that would be going against the spirit though although I am looking and I'm sitting at like almost 28 minutes that I've been playing this game so oh, oh that Pokemon is so tiny so I'm thinking that, I don't know what I'm thinking actually, wow, beat this Pokemon, run around, try and find a Pokemon that isn't an ice type, but it seems like, oh I forgot to catch her, oh well, I guess I'm not getting a pile of swine today. Oh, maybe I will. Oh, yes, I. Yeah, no pile of swine for me. But that's okay. My cat's like, I can have dreamies now? No, you cannot. Not quite yet. Right. Yeah, so I think. Try and find one more Pokemon that hopefully isn't an Ice type. Although I just feel like this whole area is icy today. Oh, I wonder if I can fish. That would definitely create for a different. Oh, what have we got? Let's go for that Pandery one. It'll be just my luck that the. Pancham, that's what it is. That the the Pancham will happen to be a sneaky ice type. I, I'm not bothered if my whole team faints. It's kind of like Ooh, fighting. So fighting is a book that contains a tournament. And I would say that my absolute favourite 
book that contains a tournament is A Gathering of Shadows, which is the second book in the A Darker Shade of Magic series. And I just absolutely adore it on so many levels. But then I do really love a book that contains a tournament anyway, like hence why it's a whole um, TBR game prompt. But if you're looking for a first book in a series that contains a tournament, then I mean it's probably one that you may have already read. But I would go for The Selection, which um, is kind of a bit like, I've never watched The Bachelor, but I think it's that kind of idea, where you've got this group of girls like compete, oh I didn't mean to do that, uh, this group of girls competing for the heart of a prince, but then like it's it's not as um what was I gonna say? It's not mean spirited at all. Oh what on earth is that Pokemon? And is it going to attack me? No. I kinda want to like how do I get to that Pokemon? Anyway, I should uh, You just have to follow the Pokemon around. Anyway, I am going to save and call it a day. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you got some good recommendations. I hope this video wasn't too messy. And until next time, bye.